All right, bro. If you look right here, this nut is on the side where, the, where your brake is. Take this one loose right here, just loosen it. And then you got another one on the bottom. It's, it's, it goes right here, this one right here. It's this nut, can't really see it because they, they spray painted everything black. There's another one right here, and you loosen that one too. And then you see these right here and right here. You take, this is a 10 millimeter, I'm pretty sure. Take this and, oh, let's see. You got to back, back these all the way out like they are. See how they, they, they backed all the way out? Just loosen up this nut and then unscrew these all the way. Just back them all the way up. And then the easiest way I find to do it is to take, put the bike in gear. Oh, wait, you probably ain't got a chain on there. Um, Just take like a... a Take like a big wrench or something like that, or like a big screwdriver, and try to move. You gotta move this forward. It should move forward easily. Your whole carrier right here, and you just move it forward until you get enough slack on the chain to get the chain around the sprocket. That's the best way to do it. So this bolt right here, loosen up this nut and this nut down here is another one right on the bottom there's only two and then you back these two out all the way like they are you already see they back these ones all the way out and you back them all the way out and your carrier will slide forward oh shit your carrier will slide forward all the way forward and then you get the chain wrapped around the sprocket and the front sprocket you know what i'm saying and then what you're gonna do is take these you, you're going to take these and screw them back in until the chain is tight like if you do this one count the turns put this one in three turns until the chain is tight on this side or, or three or four turns however many turns it takes and then on this side the same amount you're going to turn it in the same amount of turns that just so they're even you know what i'm saying so so say you screw this one in until the chain's tight and it takes five turns. Well, you're gonna do the same thing on this one, five turns in. And that's that's basically it. And it should move for you. And you, as long as you ain't got this piece on, if you ain't got this chain chain guard on. So if you got the chain guard on, you gotta take the chain guard off too. And it's just a couple bolts. A little bolt here and a little bolt right there. And it should. Oh, there's two more. There's some more up in the front. So, you can take this piece off if you got it on there. I'm pretty sure you got to take it off. You might not have to, but it probably make it easier if you do. So, I mean, that's easy, bro. If you got any questions, just hit me up. I'll tell you, there's no way to fuck it up. But the main the main thing is, however many turns you, you put this in, you got to do the same on this side. And that should do it.